What's up everybody, it's Mike here today and we're gonna be talking about where you can find some paid STL models to go ahead and 3D print. Now, originally when I started this channel, it was going to be focused on projects and I've gotten away from that a little bit in 2025 and as we gained some traction when it came to the channel, a lot of you guys watch the 3D printing news, things like that. But what I wanna get back to in 2026 is projects. One of my goals for 2026 is actually to have a fully functioning R2-D2. And of course, I have to go ahead and buy the files and things like that. But I thought I would share where I'm getting some of these files and the places I look for these SDL models. So that way, if you guys wanna work on projects as well, you know where to go. I have a list of people that we're gonna go ahead and check out for 3D models, subscriptions, there's some Patreons, right? A lot of times, if you subscribe to them on Patreon, you can actually get their files for discounts on their website. So be sure to check that out anytime you're going ahead and subscribing. Or if you just want one model in particular, even then sometimes it could be cheaper to subscribe to their Patreon then buy it after you get the discount and then you get some free models out of it as well. I'm not gonna be able to cover everybody though when it comes to like all the different places to get 3D models. So if you guys leave comments down below where you actually would recommend to go ahead and pick some up, do that and maybe I'll make a part two to this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one we're actually gonna start here with today is DO3D. Now they run a ton of sales, so don't be shy about using discounts, right? Right now you can actually get 50% off using code Xmas. Um, look, if you want something that's pop culture, it recently came out. They're one of the quickest to come out with stuff. You can see here, they already have a helmet from the Odyssey trailer, like, already like $29 you can go ahead and get the discount you that'd be $14.50 boom look the Odyssey already again like very quick to come out with stuff you have Marvel you have Star Wars you have Batman the Mandalorian I believe they even have some Power Ranger stuff they have tons of files I've bought them from them before great files you can go ahead and check them out if you're looking for your next project again we're gonna have a range of models on here guys and what to look for so Go ahead and check them out if that's something you're interested in. And the next one, right? I said my goal actually in 2026 was to build a fully functional life-size R2-D2. And you can go here and they don't just have R2-D2. So it's Mr. Battley Printed Droid. He has a Patreon where you can go ahead and get the files to build your very own R2-D2. There's a ton of people in this Facebook group that they'll help answer any questions. Actually, one of the rules to his Facebook group is there is no dumb questions. Ask your dumb questions. Like there is, again, there's no dumb questions. There is even a section here to ask questions. I mean, it's really complicated when it comes to building an R2-D2. You have to get the Arduinos, the LEDs, like the, the motors. There's a ton of stuff that actually goes into R2-D2. And I, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in 2026. It is quite expensive as well. But this is one you can go ahead and subscribe to and you can build your very own functioning R2-D2. There's a lot of people there's this guy right here building a chopper droid. Tons of stuff that you can go ahead and check out. Next, we're moving on to Yosh Studios. Now, you gotta keep this one on the hush, hush, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking for certain things in particular. But anyway, they have like this Vecna mask. You can, this is one of the ones where if you subscribe to them on Patreon, you can get a pretty sizable discount. Why was I saying on the hush, hush? Well, you know, there are some no fun companies out there that like to take some of this stuff down. In particular, Games Workshop, and you guys know the other one I'm talking about here. But they have a ton of these. If you wanna go ahead and get the starters, they are there as well. They have Digimon, look, this would have been a good one for the holidays if you wanna go ahead and life-size print this and boom, like it could be sitting on your doorstep. I think that would be totally awesome. So depending on what you're into, there's a ton of different options when it comes to Yosh Studios. Go ahead and check them out as well. And I just realized I'm gonna be saying, go ahead and check them out a ton of times. But again, guys, like, you know, I don't know what else to say when it comes to doing this video, but here's another one. We have Wireframe 3D, and as a reminder, I will have all the links to each one of these down below, not in any particular order. Wireframe actually offers where it's a lot of just different 3D modelers. So I believe Frankly Bill actually bought his, uh, he worked with Walsh 3D, I believe it was, um, if I'm not mistaken on building his Iron Man suit as a new Mark 85 suit. That's available on this website. Look, you have this Predator Egypt guy. That thing looks insane. There's so many different files. You got Blade Mac 11. Uh, it just depends, again, like it depends what you're looking for, guys. There's a whole bunch of things. And go ahead and just check out all these websites. Maybe there's something you weren't even 
sure you were looking for. You got the MG Mando helmet, um, Hollow Knight. There's just so many different options here. A lot of them look awesome. Uh, they have a, like I said, they have a lot of good Iron Man uh, stuff on here. This Iron Man suit, the Doctor Doom Iron Man suit, that'd be really cool to see if someone got that fully functioning. Especially with Doomsday coming up, that might be a good project for someone to work on. You got a few other things, but just a few files here just showing off. You got, you got the Star Wars helmet um you know stormtrooper helmet for you guys anyway power rangers batman tons of stuff here to go ahead and check out the next one is one that's slightly different this is actually hex 3d now i have actually been a subscriber on patreon right before they actually changed the way it works so i have access to his full catalog right now but this month's releases this is just more of a monthly release when it comes to them you got this uh, momar nadan one two, two scale bust Man, I couldn't get my words out there. But anyway, they have this month's releases. So he has a few Star Wars things he usually always comes out with. Let's go back to this month's releases. Um, you have the mask, you have an alien mask. This Raptor egg display I actually thought was really cool. You can go ahead and print this as well. Very easy to 3D print a lot of this stuff. I think a lot of it's actually made to be printed without supports. And this looks like that as well. So this is something I think would be really cool to build with your, your kids or maybe even you are really into the dinosaur or the Jurassic Park stuff. Actually, I've been thinking about 3D printing this one myself as well. Go ahead and check out Hex 3D. One of the, I feel like it's like an OG thing at this point when it comes to Hex 3D. He puts out just a whole bunch of random stuff. Now, this is one of my personal favorites. You guys have seen my life-size battle droid here on the channel. This is Droid Division. I believe right now he's actually working on a life-size General Grievous. Can't wait for that to come out. I'm working on the Super Battle Droid, but I've actually kind of changed my mind. I might go ahead and reprint the whole thing in ABS because PLA is just a pain to work with uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, at this point I have the whole thing 3D printed, but I, I might as well finish it, but it just takes so much time to sand PLA. Anyway, with that being said, guys, I have done the battle droid. I have bought the pit droid. I have bought in the life-size battle droid here for charity. I bought in the the um, super battle droid, can't get my words out today. There's so many files here. It's not just Star Wars. He does a ton of Star Wars droids, but you can see here the Crew 2 robot. Um, I believe he also has like a Mr. Giant here as well. There's a few, yeah, right here, huge robot. Um, you know, you have this one here. I'm not quite sure what that one's from. I don't remember. Uh, was that Futurama or something? I don't know. I just embarrassed myself. Anyway, but there's a ton of stuff here that you can go ahead, the Gronk droid. I think that'd be pretty cool. And you know, eventually I want to go ahead and like deck this out. Maybe it looks like I'm in a Star Wars universe, have some LEDs, some blinking LEDs in the background. I think that would be really cool. And again, goals for 2026. We're going to do a ton of projects here on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if that's something you're interested in. But again, just a ton of great files on his uh, website. If you don't have the room for like life-size projects and maybe you just have shelf space, he does offer even like a head pack. So you can just go ahead and buy like this head pack and you can do the pit droid head, um, and a few different battle droid heads here. And I think that would be a really good option for a lot. Of course, one of the classics, we have Galactic Armory. If you're looking for anything Star Wars and even he started to do a ton of Halo stuff, notably this one, you know, was attacked by Games Workshop at one point. Uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, lots of Star Wars stuff. They do have a Patreon. If you plan on doing a ton of Star Wars stuff, go ahead and do the yearly subscription to his Patreon. I think it's like $150 if I'm not mistaken. That's what I did. You actually get full access to the whole catalog when it comes to Galactic Armory. And if you're looking at redoing, refinishing, and then selling some of those things, you actually get the commercial license with that as well. But you know, no recommendations on how to sell stuff. It's hard to sell Star Wars stuff, right? Everyone's 3D printing, but you can see there's just so many different files that you get access to. One of my favorite things is actually, let's go ahead and search here, kit cards that he's recently been coming out with is these kit cards. So I've done the TIE Fighter. The X-Wing is actually free, I believe, for everybody on Maker World. You have the ARC-170. Um, one of the newest one was actually the Lambda shuttle here, which is huge. I've started to 3D print that myself. Again, you get all of this stuff if you subscribe to the Patreon. The yearly one, you get access to the full catalog. And then I think, well, this one I know was this month's release. And then you have a few releases, of course. He's gotten like 10 to 15 releases a month. It's been pretty 
you're getting quite a bit for your money if you just go ahead and even do the monthly release. Um, and then check and see if he has a discount. I don't remember if he has a discount to his website if he also subscribed to the Patreon, but this was one of my favorite ones that I've, I've bought in the yearly subscription to. And as I said, we're gonna be doing tons more projects here on the channel. You'll see this eventually. You'll see, I think there's this Mythosaur skull I wanna do. I saw someone on TikTok actually did like this stain method with it. So again, a lot more projects coming on the channel. Moving on to some of these, some of these are going to be more meant for resin printing, but you can do them in PLA, move over to that point two nozzle. Um, Sanix 3D actually does a ton of statues that look really great. You can see this Punisher one here. I know he's done Halo ones. He also has a Patreon where you go ahead and you get, I think it's like one or two models, at least previously it was per month. But again, there's a lot of good files that he does. Let's see, let's go back here, store. Um, let's see, we got Judge Dredd, uh, you got a ton of Batman, I know he likes to do a ton of Batman ones, this one looks crazy cool, the alien one, Ellen Ripley, aliens, look, look at that, is that the queen alien, man, that, let's see, that's one of the reasons to resin print, but again, it's nasty stuff, so if you don't have a dedicated area for your resin printing, and then you gotta paint that, that, you know how difficult it would be, I paint like a second grader, so, um, I, insane like this is just one i wish i kind of had just like sitting right here life size that would be that'd be totally or life size that'd be insane but like the one six scale that'd be totally dope to have right there speaking of stuff that we actually can put back here we actually have this yoda right here and that's by photos mint he offers a ton of just stuff that you can pay for this yoda was actually free like believe it or not that's crazy so there's a ton of stuff here the star wars lord of the rings just random characters so you can go ahead and check out he does a lot of bust that's more so i believe like his thing that you have here look at this we also have the witch king from lord of the rings insane like come on like this is just this is awesome like uh, but it, some of this stuff again is more meant for resin printing you can do it it's just going to be a little bit more difficult in fdm but again just check out photos mint now if you are looking for miniatures i think a ton of people know of loot studios you can go ahead and check out loot studios just offers a ton of miniatures if you're trying to do your dnd campaigns i actually think this big behemoth was made for fdm so there is still some stuff you can fdm print and i think they've gotten more used to the idea that people are fdm printing a lot of times and again guys check out fdm miniatures on reddit they have tons of different settings but look at this guy that's insane but loose studios has gotten a little bit more expensive i believe it's more like 19 or 20 dollars a month now depending on what you do but they do have also subscriptions where you can pick previous bundles that have already come out so maybe you don't like this month's bundle you can actually pick previous ones and pay monthly that way you can look through they have a ton of stuff already in their back catalog and you can check that out again it just depends on what you're looking to 3d print so when i first started getting into 3d printing resin printing was what i originally started with and the reason like one of the main reasons i actually got into resin printing was this patreon right here star wars 3d they offer so many different types of like statues and then they do a gun every month. So you get, I believe it's two characters, a gun in like a vehicle or something. I'd have to double check their Patreon again. There is so many stuff. And then they, so many things on their Patreon. And then they also do like a free movie one or video game. Like they throw it in every month for their Patreon. There's just so many good ones and they're different than anything that's really been seen before. And since they've done a lot of the OG characters, they go and do like these obscure characters that a lot of people don't actually really touch when it comes to that. And what do I say by that? I mean like Sebulba, who's gonna do like a one six scale Sebulba statue? <laughs> like that's just, that's to me, that's kind of random. Or like you have this one here, I'm not even sure what character that is, but again, they do a ton of different models. And one of the cool things about them is they run tons of discounts. They do like yearly things where you can get free models. If you're subscribed for like three months, you get extra free stuff where you can pick old models. And then on top of this, they actually have different Patreons, which are actually more popular. You guys may have seen 3D Wicked before. This is his Marvel version of that. And look, you can actually see this month you got an elf statue. And he does all of his stuff in 1.6. I believe Uncle Jesse, his actual big 
Magneto statue. I think that's actually from Wicked 3D. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe that's what it's from. Look, you can see they did a Diddy Kong and a Donkey Kong. Um, tons of stuff in this guy. I hate this dude when we play Smash Bros. I hate that guy. Anyway, um, going through, look, you have Captain Fury. So many different things. And a lot of them come together and make like dioramas, which is insane. There's some people who paint them here on YouTube as well. Um, and then th it doesn't stop here. He actually has another Patreon that you can subscribe to. Again, these are all different. I believe it's $10 a month. And then you have B3D Zerk uh, right here. This is more of the DC one. So again, tons, just, just, just tons that he offers. And this one actually looks like it has Hellboy this month. So he, he, he's pushing out the files when it comes to this stuff. It looks, I mean, they look awesome. This is the only one that I haven't subscribed to before because I'm not necessarily, right now, DC, to me, I haven't really gotten into DC as much as like the Marvel and the, hopefully that comes back with James Gunn's universe, right? But as much as like the Marvel and the Star Wars stuff, I'm a Star Wars guy at heart, then Marvel, all this stuff is pretty cool. And then just one last one I wanna call out. I actually saw this guy on Instagram. We have Thib Maker, and I wanna call it out because I saw this and it was just, Awesome, like I wanna go ahead and purchase this file. It, he does have a link to it on his Instagram, but you know, you can go ahead and check it out. Also, you have like the the um, the so speeder. I couldn't get my words out there. I had to make a little cut in the video. You have the ATST. There's he, he makes a lot of good put together files. Like you have this R2D2 and the C3PO. Go ahead and check him out as well. So guys, that's gonna do it for the files here today. Again, comment down below if I missed any or some that you actually wanna check out. I couldn't do a video showing everything. We'll do a part two if there's enough 3D files or 3D printed artists and stuff. I'm sure I forgot some that I've even purchased from. Again, a lot of them I've purchased from, I've actually 3D printed their stuff. It's great. A lot of these, again, I showed all the ones that I know I can truly trust for now and check them out if you're interested in 3D printing any of that stuff. You know, again, this is more for like your paid files. Thank you to all my members, guys. Remember, again, comment down below. We got projects coming. What do you want to see in 2026? And then also thank you to my members as well. So with that being said, guys, truly appreciate you for watching. Again, reminder, comment down below what artists you want to be featured on part two. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and Merry Christmas.